How is it going, football enthusiasts? Tomorrow, the court will deliver its verdict in a case regarding the monopoly of UEFA and the Super League. Share in the comments down below what results are you waiting for. And while you're typing, we better proceed to start. Let's get the show on the pitch. Bayern Munich have officially announced the contract extension with the club legend Thomas Müller until the summer of 2025. On February 19th, Inter Miami will host a preseason friendly match against Lionel Messi's hometown club, Newell's Old Boys. Steve Cooper has been sacked as head coach of Nottingham Forest. After 17 match days, the Foresters are in 17th place. Four clubs representing Serie A and the Premier League are interested in the transfer of Real attacking midfielder Brahim Diaz. However, he is not going to lead the club soon. Arsenal are interested in Real Madrid scout Paolo Xavier, who specializes in Latin America. Barca did not receive the 40 million euros income that was supposed to come following the sale of stocks and Barca vision. The club is looking for new investors and is ready to listen to offers for some players in the winter. The Milan leadership has decided to bid farewell to the team's head coach, Stefano Pioli, at the end of the current season. Everyone at the club agrees that this is the end of the cycle, even if Rossoneri successfully finished in the top four. Barcelona midfielder Pedri got a knock-in training and has a slight muscle injury, which ruled him out of selection indefinitely. Nunes Perito Santo has already flown to England to conclude a contract as the new head coach of Nottingham Forest, his last place of work were Al Ijehad. Tottenham Hotspur are eyeing two centre-backs as reinforcements, Genoa's Radu Dragushin and Bournemouth Ilya Zabarni. RB Leipzig are seriously considering a January move for Jadon Sancho. However, the footballer needs to show interest in this deal so that the Red Bulls start their pursuit. I watch the Premier League and it's a big dream to play there. I'm focused on finishing the season with Fluminense and realizing our own dream of winning the club World Cup. But my dream is clear to be a Premier League player. Fluminense midfielder and leader Andre told. Kevin De Bruyne, Erling Haaland and Jeremy Doku will miss Manchester City's final game at the Club Bowl Cup due to them not being featured in the semi-final squad against Urawa Red Diamonds. Dani Carvajal and Ferlan Mendy will also miss the upcoming match against Deportivo Alaves. Los Blancos are now left without four defenders. I feel good here, I'm hoping to stay here and grow here, but it's December, so I'm concentrating on the games and won't be thinking about June or next season," Charles de Cavalier noted. RB Leipzig have opened talks for the transfer of Napoli attacking midfielder Elif Almas. The German side offered 25 million euros. Robert Sanchez is an injury that's going to be for a few weeks. I don't know if two, three, four, five, or six, says Mauricio Pochettino. Borussia Dortmund have identified Sergio Reguilon as their top target for the winter transfer window. Tottenham Hotspur defender is currently on loan at Manchester United. The president of Turkish Istanbul Spor forced his players to leave the pitch during the match against Trabzonspor, all because his team was not awarded a penalty, and after a controversial episode, the Bulls immediately conceded and Trabzonspor took the lead. PSG have agreed with Sao Paulo on the transfer of centre-back Lucas Beraldo for 20 million euros plus 5 million in bonuses. PSG's reserve goalkeeper Alexander Letelier became the victim of a robbery on the night of December 18th. Four robbers entered the player's property through the garden, attacked his wife and stole jewelry and money. The police detained three out of four thieves. Manchester United are expressing strong interest towards the defense of Jude Bellingham's brother, Job, who currently represents Sunderland. Girona sent their scout five times to follow Barca's young centre-back, Mikael Fay, though the Blaugrana do not want to let him out, even on loan deal. Manchester City and Fluminense will clash for the 2023 Club World Cup trophy. The final will be held on December 22nd in Jeddah. The legendary Walter Sabatini has returned to work in Serie A. He's been appointed Director General at Salernitana. Juventus are open to sell their talent, Matthias Sully, for 25 million euros. Newcastle and Crystal Palace are interested in his services. He's spending this season on loan at Frosinone. Hoffenheim have scored at least one goal in their last 20 Bundesliga games. This is a club record. In prison, you only do one thing – think. I had four pounds a day, so I spent it in a canteen. In my life before, I could have anything I wanted. I learned the value of money. I was sad in prison, but I learned a lot of things. Benjamin Mendy Antoine Griezmann has equaled Luis Aragones as Atletico Madrid's all-time top scorer on 172 goals. They are Los Colchoneros' all-time best goal scorers. 
Christopher Nkunku has finally made his debut for Chelsea in official matches. The Frenchman came on in the 69th minute of the EFL Cup tie against Newcastle United. Manchester United central midfielder Donny van de Beek has undergone a medical ahead of his proposed transfer to Eintracht Frankfurt. He will be alone with an option to make the move permanent. After struggling, Mainz fought back to earn a 1-1 draw. Borussia Dortmund have extended their winless streak in the Bundesliga to five matches. Real Madrid rookie Andrik has inked an endorsement deal with US sportswear brand New Balance. Chelsea have no intention of allowing winger Nani Madueke to leave the club on loan in January, despite the player's dissatisfaction with the amount of playing minutes. I said that Girona are a direct rival and that they are going to fight for La Liga. Mikel has put together a very good approach and they have players of a very high level. They are a direct rival to win La Liga, Xavi claimed. And now, let's have a look at the results of yesterday's matches. Alright, it's time to move on to the main news of the release. Barcelona have no intention of sending both Ronald Araujo to Bayern Munich nor Robert Lewandowski to Saudi Arabia this winter. Araujo is an important part of the project and Barca are confident he wants to stay there. The club has all the necessary financial means to acquire a new central midfielder in January in order to replace Gavi. Blaugrana consider it a top priority deal. Besides, according to Ashraf Ben Ayad, Barcelona will definitely keep Xavi as head coach until the end of this season. Real Madrid and Belgium international goalkeeper Thibaut Courtois has officially announced that he will miss the rest of the season and will not be available for Euro 2024. He will not have time to fully recover from the rupture of the cruciate ligament, the injury he picked up before the start of this season. Due to injury, there will be no Euro for me anyway. I have to recover the full 100% first and then you better not stick a date on it. If I'm lucky, I can play another match in May, but then you can never be 100% ready for a big tournament. Yesterday evening, the president of Barcelona, Joan Laporta, held a meeting with the famous agent Pini Zahavi at one of the city's restaurants. Early on, Zahavi was spotted having lunch with Daco, the club's sporting director. At first, journalists assumed that they were discussing a new central midfield option suitable for the Catalans. However, only after a while, Barca's true intentions became clear. They are trying to make changes to the contract of Robert Lewandowski, because according to the current agreement, his salary gets increased every season. When Zahavi was leaving the place, he told reporters that the Paul would definitely stay at Barca. Is he staying in Barcelona? <laughs> of course he is. Barca president Joan Laporta made it clear that the club would like to honor Lionel Messi for his outstanding career at Camp Nou in the future. We are open to doing it whenever he wants. Leo Messi deserves to be honored in Barcelona. One game and loan from Messi to Barca from Inter Miami? There are many reports, but I believe that is not allowed even by FIFA. Manchester City star Erling Haaland was named the best football of the year according to the famous British magazine 442. Second place in the rating went to Jude Bellingham, while Harry Kane took the third spot. The winner of the 2023 Ballon d'Or, Lionel Messi, was only in sixth place on the list, and Cristiano Ronaldo did not even make it to the top 100. As found out by El Chiringuito, a close representative of PSG striker Kylian Mbappe's family was present at Real Madrid's latest display against the Real. On the sidelines, they began to discuss the conditions of the French striker's residence in Madrid. After the end of the winter transfer window, Real Madrid are still planning to intensify their efforts to recruit Mbappe as a free agent in the summer. It is expected that he eventually decides not to renew his contract with PSG. Guys, now we would like to offer you to play quizzes. How many correct answers can you get from the latest Buzz Quiz video? Follow the link and let's compete! Well, the Football News Channel was with you. Take care and we wish you all the best. Bye-bye and see you in a bit.